Hey everybody, welcome to Game of Day Gamer. I'm Josh, and today we're trying out a really cool free program called Anarchy Arcade. And really to get right to it, basically what Anarchy Arcade is, is a 3D representation of different places. There's houses and there's like an E3 expo. And what you can do is load in your affiliated Steam games and other things that have been created in the Steam Workshop to make your own custom arcade based off of your own games. So I just spent a little while, about 30, 40 minutes, uh, putting in some games into a house that I actually have installed on the computer and a couple other little things that I downloaded from the Steam Workshop to take a look at so you could see what Anarchy Arcade is all about. And the best part is it's fucking free. So let's take a look. Now you get to choose if you want to play in the metaverse or in single player mode. Single player mode means that it's just you in the metaverse. It's, it's a shared universe. So single player it is. Anarchy Arcade. This is actually really cool for free, and apparently there's a big update coming up too. So um, I'm looking forward to it. See what else it can do. I definitely need to figure out if I can get more arcade uh, model cabinets though. Let's see, full screen? Maybe not. Online mode enabled. Why? So here's some posters I put in. Now see, you can actually uh, click with the middle mouse button here to edit the item completely, which is very interesting. Uh, the file, uh, if you have the movie, I guess technically you can stream it into your uh, game. All right, so these are the actual games that I have currently installed on my computer. And what's really cool is some of these, um, I'm working on trying to get them all to display uh, pictures. It's actually one from the picture I took. Uh, some of you who are used to the My Summer Car Adventures might actually recognize. Um, but what's really cool is you can literally take it. You notice I do all the car ones like this, but here you got No Man's Sky kind of in a space simulator or flight simulator. Same with flight simulator. Cool poster I downloaded from someone. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, you've got all these different style arcade cabinets, and it's easy as selecting with the mouse button. And you can fully edit the item. This is really cool. Now, it's not just for visual show either. That's that's kind of the cool part. You can actually load the game from inside of this game. It's kind of like, uh, I don't know, inceptioning your own games here. So, like for instance, My Summer Car, click on it like so. You can watch the trailer that's linked to Steam. Or you can click play. And what that does, as you'll see, if everything goes right and the recording software does what it's supposed to do, opens the game so you can play it. Just like that, we're in my summer car. But yeah, I think that's really cool for free. The fact that you can customize a cool place like that and then use that kind of as your desktop for your games so you could just wander and be like what the fuck do i want to play next wander over i don't know maybe maybe is that lame i don't know i think that's kind of cool but yeah boom my summer car just like that very nice you can just drop in games wherever you feel like um and this is kind of how you do it so what you would do is you just look at some blank space um yeah let's do uh Let's do, what do I know I have installed here? Looks like a lot of shit. Um, oh, okay, I know I have Parkitect. Oh no, I know I have Abduction installed, so that's cool. I like the art on that. Mm, let's... See, it starts playing the, tra uh, the sound in the background which for the trailer. It's kind of weird. Sometimes it doesn't display it on the screen, which is awfully weird, too. To but you see you have plenty of different things that you can use, especially if you download some. Jesus, just give me a decent arcade cabinet. Let's just go with that one. Drop it in and boom, just like that. Click on it, and now you're watching that trailer that you can hear. I do like how you can get it to display at least a picture uh, to give it that kind of arcadey feel. Uh, the one weird thing, though, with the sounds is 
if I were to leave this room, if that was still playing, it'd be just as loud as, you know, if I was all the way over here. So there's no real 3D modeling, I guess, of the sound, which it's all right. I mean, this is free, but it gives you a cool little place to, you know, figure out what game do I want to play if you've got a bunch of games and you're just kind of confused. You kind of just wander through and go, hmm, do I want to play No Man's Sky? Or I haven't played it since the update came out. Might be better. I don't know. I haven't played the update, I should say. I haven't played it in months. And the updates come out. Do I want to play Seven Days to Die? I don't know. It's pretty cool. Let me know what you think in the comments below. This has been Game of Day Gamer. As always, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you tomorrow.